This may come as a surprise to a lot of people, but actually friendship is required for tantric sex. The word on the street is that friendship and sexual attraction are incompatible. And this is actually exactly the opposite. We have been brainwashed into a type of thinking that is making us all miserable and making us look for the wrong thing. Uh, John Gottman, who is uh, the primary, one of the primary psychologists in the United States, uh, up in Seattle, he and his wife, Julie, have been doing research for years on what constitutes great couples. They have what's called a love lab where they put couples in there for the weekend or the afternoon or whatever, and they hook them up to electrodes, and they measure their response. So it's scientific research on what makes relationships work, not just conjecture, fairy tales, people's great ideas, people's fantasies about it. It's actually what works. And they found out through years of research and through talking with people, interviews, measuring them and so on, that 70%, 69 exactly, 69% of people in successful relationships married or otherwise, state that the friendship is the most important quality. When I heard this, I was shocked. I thought for sure men would say the sex was the most important quality, but this is 69% of men and 69% of women. So at the time, and since then, I've been pondering this question, if friendship is what makes successful relationships, why are we not dating looking for success for friendship? Why do we think if we're friends with somebody, there should be there is no sexual attraction? Why do we think that diminishes sexual attraction? Um, also, if couples are having some trouble, why don't we try to enhance the friendship, which is actually what the Gottmans recommend. When I lived in India for a year at the Tantra Ashram, one of the things that distinguished it from uh, dating in the outside world, in the conventional world, is that people were friends first. Osho taught us that friendship is higher than love. So when you meet someone and you become friends first, you want to think about if you're going to have sex with somebody, what kind of environment do you want to be with, with, in with them? You want to be able to relax and totally be yourself. You want to be 100% sure they're not going to shame you make you feel uncomfortable, that they're going to be respectful towards your body, whatever shape, size it is, that they're not going to make you feel less attractive, that they're not going to discard you after you've opened your precious heart to them, that they're going to make love to you and not just use you and throw you out, uh, that they're not going to be judging your sexual skills, but that the two of you are going to be exploring together. In tantric sex, this is a foundation for what actually makes for great tantric sex, is that we trust each other, we're able to trust enough to open up deeply. My secrets are safe with you. My surrender is safe with you. My uh, going, to ha going to places I'm scared to go, I can go with you because I trust you. I have that trust, I have that friendship. Uh, I know this gets a little strange for people because they've been so hypnotized and so indoctrinated that sex is wrong. I was seeing a young couple about a month ago, and she, I was talking with them about this concept, and she said, well, the more we become friends, the less I'm attracted to him. And this is because of this whole idea now, especially uh, perpetuated by porn, Porn can have its good uses, but it does perpetuate this idea that sex is about performance, that it's visual, that it's about creating this exotic visual representation. It's not so much about opening to intimacy. And while there's a place for that kind of sex, this was a couple that was struggling to become intimate. And I said to her, you like that kind of sex, but have you ever had intimate sex? I can guarantee you it's much better. Have you ever had it? And she said, she got a little sheepish and she said, no. So what I'm here to say is tantric sex is as good as you've heard it is. It requires a different mindset, a different framework, completely new ways of thinking and being. And one of these ways is that friendship is required for tantric sex. I'd love to teach you more about this. 
If you stick around, come to some of our workshops. I will make more videos on this subject and I'm putting it into an upcoming book. So just please at this point, open your mind to the fact that you have been brainwashed against friendship with the opposite sex or the same sex in romantic situations and that this brainwashing may be keeping you from the love you're looking for. All right, I'll talk to you soon.